So before you watch me pop, make sure to use code ISAP in the BT6 shop. Otherwise, I'm gonna call a cop. This is the first boss since the update drop, so it's our first chance to use the Ace Paragon. Unfortunately, they, they, they pick a very hard map for this one. Lich on Haunted makes sense for the Halloween season, but damn. Pretty brutal. Not only that, but they disabled Knowledge, making it even harder to compensate. More starting cash, but they also disabled all the other Paragons. Well, at least the uh, the three strongest that's not Ace. Boat, Ninja, NG Band. So if we're going to pick the three Paragons for a three Paragon Max Ball, they already chose it for us. Here is going to be Geraldo because I want to get as high of a degree as I can from the Ace Paragon. Probably not able to get 100 with the uh, lack of pops, but a high degree we'll try for. I think the play here without the free Darmoki is drop Geraldo and then get the NFT, which I think you afford by round 4. Before I drop another tower, I have to go for a farm. Also, because it's haunted, we can't really go for balloon trap farming, sadly, because dual lanes make it really wonky. So this will just be the classic uh, marketplace spam into round 40. I would say Geraldo plus two shoot turrets is a decent start. And then after that, probably a, zero th a 1 3 0 druid. There we go. Through the jungle. Now we're good to round 39. I'll give a count potion for round 33, by the way. I'm gonna try selling the NFT now, a bit early. Because here's what I'm looking at for uh, right now. I wanna speed up the marketplace buys. Ignore the farm on the right side, I messed that up. That won't have to be non discounted, but I don't mind this play here. Seven mark places, round 37, and uh, now we just go for the favorite trade so we can sell it. I'm probably not going to sell all of them, by the way, because I don't need to, since it's not ranked. And we have arrived at tier 1. What if I sold two of the marketplaces so I can put a sticky bomb here, and then a sticky bomb on the right side, just for Lich's soul, and uh, I don't know if that's enough to be an Elite Lich. It's been a while since I did a non-ranked Elite Lich, so I guess I'll see first off how this goes. But yeah, one more K, please. I'm not getting it. Okay, I need to uh, get a second sticky. I know I sold there, but there's nothing I can really do. Oh, also, I forgot. Oh my god, we are leaking lives because of Lich. And uh, without life generation, um, we can't do that. Alright, so let me just go ahead and die here because... Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. That strategy won't work. Wait, I'm not sure if one assassin one-shots the insides of the uh, Lich soul. But if it doesn't... I'll try something else. Let me try this, though. Double assassin strategy. So let's see. Hit the skull. Use one. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. So one sticky bomb and one assassin. Kills it. And also, I'm going to keep farming over here in the meantime. This will be where my banana central is. All the way far away, so it won't get buffs taken away. When I overclock it later. So watch again. Oh, no, I lost lives there. I wonder why that time that happened. It also seems like this one's going away. So I might need to go for two stickies and two assassins. Is that cheaper than uh, Elite Defender? Because if it's not, why am I even trying? Yeah, I'm, I'm still leaking lives here, guys. I don't know what's what's up. Oh, I think it's because the assassins are... Uh, they're using shots on uh, the chain moabs. So I think Elite Defender is probably just simpler. This is just too much. If I put the Elite Defender in this spot, do you think it gets the life buff taken away? I don't think so. Unless Lich gets really far, but I'm gonna bank on it not getting that far. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna buy Jungle Drums mid-round too. I will probably lose some lives in the first skulls here. Which, the thing is I can't afford to lose 11 lives every single skull. So here comes the life loss and then insane attack speed decrease or increase. Which helps us out in not getting uh, a life loss there. Okay. Come on. Lich Soul. Yeah, we're gonna lose, uh, I think, two more 11 life thresholds here. It seems like every two skulls that we hit, we lose 11 lives. So that'll put me down to uh, 16 lives. That's not very good. That means I can't afford to lose any lives at all for tier 2, 3, 4, 5. Although I can regenerate lives with, like, Chinook. Oh, right. Actually, we do have Geraldo Potion to give back lives, so that's not not the worst thing in the world. So, actually, we're saved. So, we'll lose up. Wait. There are the rainbows. Got scared. There we go. And let me end this off so that I can quickly go for the BRF. I think now I'll just do uh, AP Darts Outbuff 
to break down these chain mobs because they are really annoying. Come on. Bruh. <laughs> Eight lives. And we should be good here, right? Okay. Living on the edge here, folks. I think the farming meta from here is uh, you just go for uh, Marketplace with one BRF. And then you just sell the Marketplaces after. And then after you beat tier 2, you go for the Banana Central. The 100k Big Boy upgrade. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Um, It's not ranked mode. And I don't think farmers are cheating, so yes. Let me go ahead and drop a Banana Boy here. This is probably the best part of the update, if you ask me. Nothing like a little uh, banana cosplayer to cheer us up. Give us more support. Take down uh, the big bad boss. I don't think central markets are worth at this point, so we're gonna hold another cash and... Uh, tier 2, you know the drill. MAD. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to get overclock before uh, the round started, so I got the cooldown for mad, but I could use the Riju potion to reset my lives. And then get mad right after this, and then this... I think I'll just sell some of the marketplaces here for the mad instead of selling the overclock because I need it anyways. I need to keep it. So let's begin. I think one problem I see is beating AI balloons. 63 if that comes around while the round's still going. I probably should just buy like one recursive. But we'll see if we get that far first. Right now one mad is OP. So it looks like no need for it. It's very crucial that Lich doesn't get very far so that it doesn't get close enough to uh, stunning and take away the mad buffs. Otherwise, I retry this round. Also, if you saw what I did there, I overclocked a uh, low-tier Dartling so that the overclock lasts longer. I actually made a mistake in that. I should have done it at 000 Dartling, but this is fine. So right now, I don't need to activate overclock until now. Actually, it's getting pretty close. Come on, quickly. Oh, crap, I got stunned. Okay. I want to hope we're fine here because it's only a temporary stun, right? Oh, but we lose overclock. Okay, that's not gonna work. Bruh. So close. That's a GG. Okay. So, easy solution is just put this in the bottom right corner, and uh, we will win this time easy. Again. No stun this time means a very, very, very easy kill on tier 2. So, only one quick retry there. That's not a big deal. So, now... GG. Mad is in range of the central, which is good. And now we just want to rush you. Like that. Easy. Because I want pops on the ace to get a high degree ace barrier on, I think I could probably just go for Spectre to solo the next 20 rounds, even though it's a bit expensive, but we should be fine in the farming considering we already have a banana central here. For those wondering, no, I'm not going to go for an ace barrier for tier 3 because it's too expensive. You can go for a makeshift dart for 350k, but 800k, yeah. <laughs> That's just a pipe dream right there. At minimum, it's going to be tier 4, but I think because I want a high degree ace, I'm probably going to hold off till literally the last tier. So for those wondering, it's actually very important to go for a high degree ace paragon because uh, unlike normal uh, paragon damage curves, uh, apparently against elite bosses, it gets a lot more damage like compared to degree one. Because right now, the stats actually have been uh, data mined. The carpet bombs, specifically, do 80k elite damage per bomb. So that's a total of uh, 640k. But apparently up to degree 100, you can get up to 3.5 million if all bombs hit. Which is pretty nasty. That's close to like a 6 times buff relative to degree one. Similarly, things apply to the ace attacks. It does like 800 elite damage uh, for the... Uh, Darts. So also on that note, the Ace Paragon is not you can't you can't really buff it all with even Sir Brittle or Crib Moab. Because each damage number on it is already so high that it's going to be like a less than 1% damage buff when you add those guys. Because we can't go for an ultra boost in this this week's it's banned, we probably have to go for the monkey opalus. So that's why I'm putting you know one on the left side over here. I also get that after tier 3 because it looks like 6 rounds to go. Getting any more farms at this point would probably be a, a dumb idea. But let me just do 2 more rounds and then stop. Do you think a Sky Shredder and Big Plane Duo can uh, take it down by itself? I'm going to give it as many buffs as possible by the way. So I'm going to double overclock both. I think we just start giving it debuffs. So in Brutalman here and then I'll go for uh, a Cripple Moab. 
And we'll see how this goes. Probably not going to work, but I'm just kind of curious, that's all. Don't be surprised at how bad the damage is so far. That's normal, given that I don't have everything up yet. How are we looking, fellas? Blue Storm? We're only barely hitting one skull here, so I don't think this is looking too hot. Yeah, that is zero damage if I've ever seen any. It also isn't even enough to kill down the uh, Lich Skull, so yeah. Yeah, that is the saddest attempt I've ever seen at trying to kill a boss, so uh, I'm just going to restart from here. So because it's not ranked again, we can strategically uh, buy the Dart Monkeys later so that, well, I can make more money. Because I obviously wouldn't need to sell every farm at this point. Also, the worst part is that I can't even go for a degree 30. It'll be a degree 1 dart, but that's okay. We'll see how long I can survive. I think we gotta go now, right? So I need 100... Oh, that's a lot. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, I need to sell everything but one over there. That's not great. Here's degree 1. If it doesn't work, then I'll be even more sad. Not to mention I got nerfed, so... Oh my god, pathetic. That moment when a makeshift Paragon doesn't even work. Like, I know it's not bouncing properly, but that's still just awful. I think we just got to damage it with normal towers, just based on how this is looking. We're getting the wall now, but you, still, you see the damage is still so bad if it's not a re-30. So, yeah. This is going to be a restart moment again. So, this is the greatest head start in the history of head starts. Look at all this defense I have for tier 3. If this is not enough starting off, then I don't know what. Because I pretty much got rid of every farm at this point. So good luck. Overclock the mad, by the way, because it won't get stunned yet. And then uh, use the mad ability. Uh, this should go down really quickly. I'll buy a cure flagship real quick as well. So that I can get the uh, big plane buffs too. A brittle after, because right now it's not near the top yet. Okay, it's getting ranged now, so quickly. Uh, give me. Brittle. Let's go ahead and get P mentoring as well for... Uh, Two things. Uh, gives more range on my Brittle, too. And it gets a spam overdrives, because that does good damage. Actually, Sun Avatars. Sun Avatars. As you guys know, Sun Avatars are amazing. Because they have big range. And uh, they benefit well from damage buffs. Okay, I think my Mad's actually going to get stunned. Bad timing for that. We are doing a lot better, but I, I, I'm afraid of that stun on the Mad. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're doing this really well. Last uh, Second last call here. And there's the heal. Which should be fine, because it's only a couple seconds. And let me do one more Life Potion reset so that I can use the Mad Ability. And everything else along with it. Come on. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. That's all it takes to be a tier 3, folks. Just a casual $250,000 worth of defense. And there we go. Okay, so we definitely need to pair up to tier 4. Unless we want to spam towers, but this is pretty annoying, so... Probably not. Now let's sell everything. This is a 13 farm monkey office, which is going to be a, a lot of money, even after the nerf. I'm honestly at this point contemplating going for a a, a true sun god for tier 4, instead of a paragon. Just because, again, I want a high degree tier 5, rather than a makeshift for, like, the first one. So that I can start getting my totems soon, because uh, draw is going to hit level 20. Alright, there we go. Naturally leveled at 95, so... Uh, we shall start dropping them one at a time now. With the amount of money we have, 500k with 5 rounds to go, we should be able to buy a TSG without losing too much money. Apparently I'm making like 150k plus a round because I got a million dollars. I guess the money spent on Paragon Thumbs isn't that much. So in that case, I might waste a, couple, a bit of monkey money here just to see like if I did get a Paragon now, how would it do against the boss? So I'm probably going to restart this, but I want to... Test for science, okay? So just out of curiosity, six totems and uh, some of this drops gets us 44, I see. Now, without knowledge, you don't have Wing Monkey, which is actually really bad, but we do have Center Path Micro, so it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. So the Car Bones will do about like a million or so damage, which is pretty decent. The, the, the bad thing is, though, it won't, it won't soak through Lich Layers because it gets, you know, invulnerable. So that's kind of annoying. So we could really only do like... Well, I guess we could probably uh, kill the Lich Soul under it. So let me car bomb now, guys. Right now. Wait. Let me wait for this pop and then car bomb. If I can take it out quick enough. Okay, and now. So this should only do one-eighth of the damage. Yeah. 
But this might not even... Uh, no, this will pop, I think. But it'll be still kind of tight. Not gonna lie. The car bombs do at least kill the insides, right? Of the uh, Lich Soul. Yeah, it does. Okay. And now let's make sure not to die to the uh, last one here. Okay. Alright, so good to know it does work. It does work. It's not super trivial, even with 44, but that's because this is just a hard a hard boss in general. So that's cool. Now we do a non-Ace Pyrgon method to beat it. So here's TSG, and I only have 150k spare cash after that. So I don't know if that's enough money to get everything I need, but we'll see. This is honestly a really similar defense to what we had to Tier 3, but mine is the True Sun Guide. This should be enough to make a difference, though. Especially since I can make a lot of money mid-round to buy... Lots of things. So let me just go ahead and go. Uh, damage actually is not as good as I thought. Am I missing a thing? Because I have all the damage givers. We might just need time for the uh, mini sun after us to ramp up, possibly. Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon. But I'm going to quickly buy stuff mid-round. So quickly, quickly. I guess I should go for stuff that will help for the uh, Ace Paragon degree. So uh, Sky Shredder as well. We got the Ray of Doom. We should get Carrier Flagship. JK ran out of water. We just gotta go for the big boys. Apache Prime. There's the halfway mark finally. Yeah, it's not good at all. I think I need to drop things earlier. Actually, it may be, it may be beatable, I think. Nah. Maybe. Well, let's find out over here. Come on. If we beat this part, we win. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> I was scared for a second, but I think we got enough here. So we can save the epic degree for uh, tier 5. Now, it should be dropping totems, because I have not been doing that. And there's honestly no point in being selling towers, because I'm not going to plan on getting more farms anyway, so... We'll just keep the defense there for uh, tier 5. Uh, actually, there is a merit in selling some of the towers, so that we get more pops on the big plan. So let me just sell a couple things that I guess I may not need. Alright, 2.8 million dollars. That's a good amount to work on. So, does it matter where I place my ace pick? I'm probably not. I'll probably start it on the left side here, so that I can leave on it figure infinite to start, and then when it gets far, we can do figure eight into a center path targeting. Also, in case you're wondering, six million pops on the flying fortress, so this will be a. I'm gonna guess degree seventy to eighty paragon. All right, I think that's good, folks. So, let's find out what we get. Three, two, one. Exactly what I predicted. Between 70 and 80, 73. I'm still not sure if it's enough, though, so uh, I'm going to add a dart and a boomerang. And I guess we'll keep, we can compare, because every monkey starts to your pops, so we can see uh, which one is the strongest. I know it won't be a fair comparison, because the dart will, be, will do so much less because of the low degree, but we can kind of make an approximation. Now we get 30 with all those combined. So all those 20 fan clubs equals uh, one extra crossmaster's worth of degrees. Pretty sad. All right, this should be degree 30. Yep, the exact same. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do we start? I think I'm confident enough that we can win with the following defense. So I'm going to keep the extra 200k on our hand, just so the screen is a little bit less cluttered. So, let's go. So, the thing is, when you buy the Ace Paragon, it, you don't have the ability on cooldown. So, uh, that's going to stink. Uh, here's one skull. I think we should have this. I'm gonna change to, uh, figure eight now. And let's car bomb. Come on. How much damage does it do? It should be enough to at least get to this skull here, right? Yes, yes, yes. If I had to guess, that car bomb's gotta be doing about two million damage. Definitely looks like we'll have this, which is good. I think now that it's out of range a bit, we should go center path. Let's do a quick pop count check, by the way. Where is the Dart Monkey? Oh my god, less than a million. Oh my god. That Dart Monkey nerf hit in hard, but also because of the, um, the lack of walls here on this map. Make the Dart Monkey pretty weak. There's another curve bomb, by the way. The good thing is that, yes, it kills the soul, too. So I should, I should probably use it. The thing is, I don't want to, like, use overkill damage, so I should use it the moment the next skull comes off. So you don't want to use it, like, right now, if I had it up, because right now... I would be wasting damage, so wait for it. Wait for it to respawn, because we can kill the soul easily. When I say easily, I mean, uh... Yeah, it takes like five seconds easily. Uh, now. So this should go all the way to the next damage phase. 
Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. No, no, that missed. That missed. My bad. I think I aimed it a bit low. Regardless, it's closer than I'd like. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, maybe I'll use Car Bomb just for the soul, because I'm kind of scared. Because the Boomer and Dart are pretty far away. So now? Did I delay too long? No, we're good. And I missed it, of course. Because I was trying to aim on one thing, and then I end up missing both. That's fine. We can still win. But yeah, quick pop count check. 5 million for Boomerang. Yeah, this is... And we finally made the Boomerang, like, better than uh, another Paragon, guys. And uh, there it is. 18 million pops. That's probably what, about what I expected, honestly. The Ace Paragon. GG's. This was certainly a tough boss. That's all I can tell ya.